What's up and welcome back to Opposites Attract Podcast. This is Sonia Ramirez, your girl, and I'm sitting next to... Miguel Ramirez. What's up, everybody? How was your day? How was your week? How is your life? Going. What's up? What's up? As you can see, we are out here. In the middle of nowhere. Miguel had me climbing, hiking. <laughs> To give you th- guys a nice backdrop. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall on my face. No. <laughs> <laughs> if Well, you know what? This episode, we still got to make it down. So this episode may not come out. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> we'll be fine. Welcome to episode 100, everybody. <laughs> yes. Woo, woo. Congratulations, babe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been cool. It's been uh, a lot of work, it right? Has like running a podcast, it's work. It's, it's not as easy as people think. You know, you turn on the camera and you hold up a microphone yep. and you start to talk. That's what you that's think. That's just not, yeah. That's what you think at first. You just right. fire up the camera, start the microphones and start talking. Yeah. And that's Nobody why tells you about fucking hiking the mountains. No. And taking all your recording equipment no. with you. Or having shitty days or. Or any of that. You know, none of that. Nobody talks about the challenges. And so maybe that's something that, you know, we should, you know, talk about for those yeah. that are looking at starting a podcast in 2021. And if you are looking to start a podcast in 2021, you can go to Libsyn and use promo code OAP for Opposites Attract Podcast, and you'll get the rest of whatever month you sign up in for free, and you'll get the next month for free just for trying out. Libsyn, promo code OAP for Opposites Attract Podcast. There you go. And uh, we're just going to go <laughs> all out of order all over the place. But uh, in case you guys uh, hear any background noise, there are there is a road behind us. There's some cars driving by, just in case so you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, episode 100. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for being with us all the yeah. way to episode 100. For those of you that are just starting to listen to us, thank you for uh, you know listening and following the podcast. And for those of you that have been here from the beginning, we have a few yes. that have been with us since episode one. Like our moms. Like our moms, <laughs> our best friends, some family. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we may have some other people that we don't even know. So thank you guys yes. because we couldn't get to episode 100 yeah. without Not only everybody. that, but let's share with them. You know, we had our highest day. Today? Well, yeah. Today. On New Year's. So we are recording this on New Year's Day. This is New Year's Day. 2021. 2021, yes. And last month, the last month of 2020 in December was our biggest month podcasting. And there but was- But what does that mean? Well, it's just the month that we've had- The most downloads. The most downloads. But- so listeners, people listening- to the podcast. But there's something that's like really easy to track, which is the audio downloads. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we had a, well, I kind of, it wasn't really a goal, but we were getting close to the number. We were getting close to a thousand downloads for the month. Mm-hmm. And that's a big accomplishment. You know, we were getting close and I didn't want to put it out there so that everybody could just, you know, listen and not like give us an, a, a stat, a number, mm-hmm. but not really listen to the podcast. Uh, So what we did was we just started promoting a little bit more and sharing a little bit Mm -hmm. more. And we hit We wanted it to be more organic because you and I both could have went on Facebook and reached out to family and friends and did a post and say, hey, we're looking at download, you know, uh, reaching a goal of a thousand listeners. And that's just not something that we wanted to do. We wanted to do it organically. So what we did was we posted more. We 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 created the activity so that we could get the results. Exactly. And... uh, we were shooting for a hundred for a thousand mm-hmm. and we ended up like way over 1200. Yeah. So, so thank you. That was, thank huge. you. Yeah, yes. Was, thank you very much. That yes. was awesome. Not only that, but you were sharing with me that you were doing some research on podcast and that most, most people that start a podcast don't make it past their 14th yeah. podcast. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. yeah, most don't make it past fourteen uh, episode 14. And the other thing that I read is that the podcasts that are successful have a big catalog. Like, they, on average, successful podcasts have at least 200 podcasts, in, wow. like previous podcasts. So we're halfway there. That's right. You hey, know? so by uh, next year, next year, we should be good. We so, should. Yeah. So you know what? Now that it's the new year, what do you, what do you think? What, how do you feel about the new year? The business, podcasting, what do you think? All of it. It's just all of it. I um I think that this was our jump start. Like our I think that next year we're going to have to do more and push ourselves a little more. Yeah. In order to reach the goals that we reached this year. 
Yeah. You know, and I'm excited for everything that's going to unfold because 2020 was a very challenging year for everybody. And I think that we, you know, should, and I talked to you about this, just reflecting and looking at the numbers and the things that we did or the things that we should have done that we didn't do that could make this better. Yeah. Um, but just setting our goals high and not make it, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people will, at least me, I, I notice that I've done this because I have a fear of failure. Um, play so I play safe. So yeah. I, you know, the goals that I accomplish, I know that I will accomplish those goals because I made them You're not easy. really, you're not I'm stretching not, yourself. You're right, right. Yeah. But the one thing, yeah, so I think with the podcast and having you by my side will continue to push me to continue to grow and to get better, Yeah, you know? And I think that podcasting for anyone, and I've mentioned this, or not for, for anyone, but with women, I think it, it's even more of a challenge of allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Now, is that just, is that for a video podcast? Like hours or is it audio? Uh, I think how, how? Vi video is more challenging, I feel. Just because. Yeah, because I know eyes are on, uh, like we have eyes on us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people are very judgmental. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, I well, just feel that, that that's a that's something if you're looking at podcasting <laughs> is something that could well, be a challenge. <laughs> it could. You know what? It could be a good thing. Yeah. And it could be really tough if, you know, if you have like self image issues. Right, and people are watching and a lot you. Yeah, of people and I do. think everybody. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah, you know, so that's one yeah, um, obstacle that I had to uh, get over, and not allowing people's opinions to to affect me. Yeah, and I I have to be honest. Um, it's hard for me to watch it. It is. Yeah. Have you noticed that today we were watching a video? And I was not looking at me. I was looking at you. I, really? I don't like to watch our podcast huh. because I see all my flaws. Is that what you're focused on? And that's what I, yes. So when I listen to it in the car, that's when I enjoy it the most because I'm actually focused on the conversation versus what I'm saying or how I look, you know, because I put on some weight, Yeah. you know, and camera, you know. It doesn't lie. Camera don't lie. <laughs> and I can't tuck it anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so I think just getting, you know, over that. Yeah. That and helps. I think I still haven't. I mean, I know I haven't because I, I noticed this morning yeah. when we were watching the video together, I was watching you. I was not, I was not watching <laughs> <me>. <laughs> yeah. at all. So what we, are some challenges that you've gone through with the podcast? I think it's similar. I mean, not so much. Like people, I mean, I guess, yeah. Like, I, I know I'm out of shape and my clothes fit tighter, but I, I don't think, obviously for a guy, I don't think it's that, it's not yeah. as So, yeah, serious. not so much that, but what about but, other things? But there are other, other things, like, I mean, just really putting it out there. Like we talked about a couple episodes ago. More than anything, it's not really, because the thing is that the stuff that we talk about on here and, you know, yesterday was New Year's Eve and we were hanging out with friends and family and uh, I wanted to give a big shout out to Mario and Irma who yes. listen to the podcast. They've been listening since the beginning, our cousins. And um, it, it's not so much because everything that we talk about, other people talk about. We just talk about it In so public. that everybody so can hear it, right? <laughs> yeah. All the crazy shit that we talk about, we right. put it out there. So when people are looking at us like, oh, I can't believe they said that or what. It's like, I don't give a shit. Like there are other people yeah. out there. This isn't you know anything we're just putting it out there for the right. world to see no, but yeah no we try to keep one, we keep it as raw now yeah. authentic as we possibly can make it but the hard part is like we were talking about a few episodes ago is when you have to face other people about like doing something different it makes people uncomfortable when you do something else mm, you know when yeah. you when you go to work and it's like how's your podcast going or right. how you know and, yeah. and sometimes it's like a sarcastic thing you know, mm. it's like, you know, have you retired yet? Did you get, uh, uh, have you gotten your plaque from YouTube? And it's like, mm. well, no, but that, that I think. Ah, oh, that's kind of like what we went through with Legal Shield. But in a way, that shit to me is motivation. It's, it's motivation. Yeah. It's mo like I Motivates wanted to you. look up how, because I knew 
when we were getting close to episode 100, I knew that they're, they're, it just can't be a thing. Like, podcasts, people talk a lot of shit, right? Like, they yeah. say they're going to do things. They talk a lot of shit. I'm going to start a podcast. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you fucking do two, and that's it. Yeah. You yeah. know? So I knew that episode 100, I mean, it, it is a big, we're in the triple digits. It's a big deal. But as far as the average podcast, I knew that episode 100 was going to be a big deal. Mm. But I just didn't expect that episode 14 is where people usually drop off. You know, and that when I read that kind of stuff, when I hear people are like, hey, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Like to me, it's like, no. But this is the thing is that if we if I really focus on podcasting, right, and it doesn't happen. And I have to go back to work and face the people that were talking shit, the people that doubted all that stuff. It's like, well, I was trying something and now I'm back. And I'm still, you know, I still have this job. I'm still working. What the fuck have you been doing? You haven't done shit and you're sitting here judging me off of my failed podcast. At least I fucking tried something. Well, you know what I mean? Well, and that's the thing. Most people, they see it as a failure. Yeah. Do you, and would you? No. We would not see it as a failure. Okay, no. what could we have done different? What could we have done more what, of? What if we started like a podcast consulting? Like if the podcast dies or whatever, which it's not. But if we started like a podcast consulting business, it's yeah. like, well, that stemmed off of this experience. Or maybe, marriage counseling. Or, ma- <laughs> or marriage counseling. Like, okay, well, maybe that failed. Right. But that led to this. This. Exactly. And I think that's what it is. Like all of it is a stepping stone. Everything is a learning experience. And I would like to share. So Audrey and I, my daughter and I, we went to, we went out to eat and I met this waiter who had an incredible personality. Yeah. You know, and I just felt that there was something that I needed to share with him, but I wasn't sure exactly what, what that was. Right. So yeah. when we started talking, he started sharing with me like, you know, his, his, his upbringing. Yeah. And I, I could see so much potential in, in this, in this young man, you know? Yeah. So much potential that he couldn't see in himself, I guess. He, you know, he was saying that, you know, there's something that I want to do. I want to do it, but I'm just not sure how to go about doing it. And I told him, listen, I said, look for a multi-level company. Like yeah. I told him, look for a multi-level company. I said, and find one that you can be passionate about. If you're interested in fitness or health, whatever it may be, find that networking company and learn all that you can. Because for us, that was our stepping stone, that was, yeah. right? Like that was it. And we learned and we like, it but, wasn't easy. But the, the, the network, like suggesting a network marketing company more than anything, that's so that they can get yes. the personal development yes. that comes with yes. the network marketing yes. company. And being able to, because to if, build th- their uh, confidence with who they are. Because most people, when they start a business, why do they quit? Think about that. Why do they quit? They, they've been told no so many times exactly. it wears people out. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and that's something that we got over. We, we got used to. Years ago. Years ago. A perfect example is when I was handing out flyers at the Joe Coy show. There was people that told me, no, actually, if you guys go back and see one of my Facebook lives when I was in Connecticut, like during the Facebook live, somebody yeah. turns me down when I was handing yeah. them a flyer. Yep. Right. Yep. And before, when you first start a business or you first start something like networking, network you're trying marketing, to get your name and, out. You know, they, they give you like these business card pitches or, or you know, whatever, just to kind of yeah, yeah. break the ice and talk to somebody. Right. When you first start doing that and people are like, no, no. And you get like 10 no's in a row. <laughs> it's fucking tough. Right. Yeah. You're just like, I don't know if I should keep doing this. Yeah. And <laughs> so, yeah, getting those no's is very, very important. And but the thing is that when what you figure out is that it's only a matter of time until Before you get to a yes, yes. until mm-hmm. until somebody will give you a shot take a listen take the flyer take whatever right 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 yeah and that's something that we learned in that and you regardless of what you're doing you it's pushing through right it's pushing through the obstacles and the challenges um in order to in order to find you yeah. you know with Audrey, with our kids, remember where I took her to sell cookies, her and Joey, right? Yep. And poor Audrey was getting nose after nose after nose. Yep. And I had to, exactly what you just shared, you know, I had to walk her through that. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Somebody's going to say yes. And sure enough, the next house I think the same said thing, yes. I think the same thing happened 
when we were doing a lemonade stand with the kids. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, that's right. But the difference is, I think Joey figured out, like the nose don't matter, like that's not what I'm looking for. Right. So where I think I, I don't remember, it might have been yeah, I think it might have been Audrey that was upset that people were saying no. But he figured out. He's like, well, no, okay, on to the next person. And and he was just going from person. Hey, would you like some lem- lemonade? Would you like some lemonade? Would you like some lemonade? Until he he was like selling. Right. But, he was selling lemonade. But why were they selling lemonade? What was their goal? What was it they that they were trying to achieve? Uh, I don't remember that. You don't remember? But they yeah. were trying to because every time. Yeah, it's for something. It's They're for trying something. trying to make some money, right? It's, yeah. yeah, it's for something. So I think that's very important too. Like if you are starting a podcast or a business in 2021, know what your end goal is. Know and and build it. Like you have to visualize it. You have to be able to see yourself in it. Yeah. You know, in order to continue to move forward because the shit shit happens a lot of shit happens as we all know from 2020 you know like being resilient and being okay with change like we we know there's two things that are guaranteed in life and that's change and death (laughs) right yeah you know once you're okay with both of those then nothing's gonna get you down nothing's gonna get you down as long as and not tying yourself emotionally to the outcome right yeah like not being able to know that you're going to go pass out those flyers and they you're going to get no's but the end result is getting more listeners more viewers right even if it's one even if it's one and you and you learn you learn from all that from all the mistakes all the failures people telling you no you figure out what works because the thing is that you also go you start adjusting when you're handing out flyers when you're working your business you you're you start doing your your thing and people are like no 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 and then you're like well maybe if I say this, maybe if I change this up, right. I'll have more success. And right. then now you're getting no, 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 yes. No, right. no, no, yes. No, yep. no, no, yes. And you're getting better. So you have to self-reflect. Like, okay, you know, what did I do? How did it work? And what could have I done different versus just giving up and saying, you know what? Forget these flyers. I found them all on the floor. Nobody was saying no. I'm done. Never doing that again. Well, and yeah. Instead, like you corrected your um, approach. Right, exactly. Joe yep. Coy, yep. you 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 saw the difference between when you were just going up and saying, "Here's I have a, a flyer." Podcast. My yeah. wife and I, you know, have a podcast, and they're like, "No." Right, right. And here's then a flyer. You're my like, wife and I have a podcast. No. Yep. Here's a flyer. My wife yep. and I have a podcast. No. And then when you I was found like, something in common. Hey, we just saw Joe Coy a yes. couple days ago. You yes. guys are gonna see Joe Coy. He's awesome. There you go. We have a podcast. Uh, if you'd like to check it out. And then I had, and, and more people started saying, And it yes. was a different conversation, right? Yep. It was like, oh, they're, like, oh, yeah. they're and, more And I'm open. like, yeah, we've seen him five times. Yeah. Like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, he's a blast. Do you guys mind checking out our, our podcast? Here's a flyer. We talk about right. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, if whatever it is that you're doing, you got to know that it's not about you, but about the person in front of you. So knowing what motivates them, knowing a little bit, just having some common ground. Like if you're approaching single mothers and you're a single mother, you already have something in common. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but you have to, the only way to figure that out is to do it. Right. Like you're going to, you're going to figure that out in the moment yeah. when you're doing it, when you're getting the nose and then you'll adjust and figure it out. Yeah. But um, when it came, so now that it's 2021 and I've been thinking about so the weird. podcast, right? <laughs> 2021. <laughs> but um, so do you have any... Anything like what do you think about Trust Inc. and the business, the notary business? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to grow the notary business? Do you want to keep it the same? Uh, Just kind of keep working it. What do you think? Well, that's something that I wanted. I want us to talk about. Okay. Um, Because I don't feel that Trust Inc. is my end game. Right. I I think that it's another stepping stone to help me to become better, to help us, you know, to get the income to do what we what's really want to do. Yeah. What's next, yeah. right? And I think, too, a lot of people, when they start a business, they look at it as their end game, right? Yeah. Like, they look at it, and for some people, it may be. Like, it may be your end game. Maybe this is what you're passionate about, and this is what you love. But when it's time to go, when it's time to grow, I should say, when it's time to grow and move on, you need to know when to cut ties, yeah. Like you need to know when to cut ties. I was stuck and I say in legal shield, I felt that's another um, 
networking company. Yes. And that Miguel and I uh, were in together and that's actually how we met. I was in Legal Shield for 13 years. And that I felt that that was my identity. Like everybody knew yeah. Sonia's Legal Shield. Sonia's Legal Shield. And I was so embedded in that company because I had so many f- uh, friends that became family, right? Yeah. And and that's who I thought I was. That's who I thought thought I was. And when I felt go- God nudging me to do something else, I stuck in for two more years, didn't I? Yeah. Of challenges and obstacles because I wasn't listening to my inner voice. I wasn't. I kept fighting it and fighting it. Yeah. And then that's when Trust Inc., the thought of a notary business came about because of, you know, legal shield. Because yeah. a lot of our clients get free wills. Um, and yeah, so all of that. And I was sending my clients to go get their documents notarized elsewhere. And so I thought I would bring it as an additional resource. Yeah. But that led from one thing to another to another. And now we have, you know, a company that's flourish, flourishing and doing very, very well. But I don't think Trust Inc. is what I, I, I feel that there's something bigger, you know, yeah. whether it's us doing marriage counseling or going and doing tours and doing live um, podcast. You know what we're going to have to do one? I don't know. We'll have to do one in India. In India. (laughs) We will be doing a tour all over the the world. So, no, I will continue to... I don't know if I want to grow trusting because, again, if I grow it and grow it, it's going to consume more time, more energy. Well, specifically, I think we got to... I mean, as everybody does around this time of year, we got to like, refl- sit down yes. and really think about yeah. last year and think about where we want to go yes. and then really set out the goal. So once we do that, maybe yeah. maybe for the next podcast, we can, you know, bring that to you guys and you guys can start thinking about it, too. Uh, but one thing that I just kind of thought actually on the way over here, I get I get these fucking crazy thoughts sometimes, you know, when you, you I get like amped up, you know, mm-hmm. about things sometimes. Sometimes it's jujitsu. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes it's the podcast. Sometimes, you know, it depends. You better on what it say is. that. <laughs> but, but no, I was thinking about the podcast and I'm like, I want to make it, I, by the end of this year, I want to make it hard to do something else. Hard to do. Okay. Like, I want to make it hard to do something, anything else. Well, there's so much more that we can do to add to what it is that we're doing that we have not done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's no, so and, much. And, and and doing those things it's what is what's gonna get the podcast to the point where you know, and, and I don't I don't I, I think we could do it. I think it would take a crap ton of work. Um What? But like to get to that point. I I'm talking about where the point the, the podcast is having success. Uh huh. And it's like maybe we do this now. Mm. But that's that's gonna take a lot like that could be the goal. And if we don't get there, the podcast is still going to be doing really well. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And see, that's where I feel that you and I, we come together um, because I don't even have that vision yet, to be honest, with the podcast. Okay. I'll drag you along with me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) I don't see, like, I just, I don't see it yet. I don't, I don't, it's pretty cool. Like when you show me like where the listeners are and how many we have and how many people are downloading and all of that. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. But I don't see how that can bring us financial freedom. Yeah. You know? So I'm yeah, not there yet. Get... My belief system in that is not there I don't, yet. I don't and maybe, know how to share it. And maybe it's because I'm so used to my time bringing me financial income. Yeah. Financial freedom, right? Like me going and... Doing something. Yes. And then getting paid. Versus getting paid for just being me. And maybe that's... I have to work more on believing in myself. But that's what being an influencer is. This is is the exact same thing. I mean, if it actually... I mean, we're talking to people. We provide a podcast. But if you're an influencer with freaking nice titties and a big butt and all you do is take pictures, like... I mean, you have a, a following. So companies will pay you to sell their shit but what are you actually what value are you actually bringing right besides your pictures of your big butt and your titties you know what i mean but at least with us we're bringing something not that there's anything wrong with that i mean whatever your hustle is i mean you you got a limited amount of time get get after it right 
Right. And if that's your thing, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to knock your hustle, you know, do your thing. But what I'm saying is that it's the same thing. They have a following because of whatever we have a following because of our podcast. And that is worth something. Yeah. You know, anytime that you do anything and it doesn't have to be a podcast, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be anything, but anytime that you have a following, that's maybe it's because something. I don't know anyone that's done it personally. You know, well, we like do. I see Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> I see her and I'm like, they're like, she is way, way. That's not true. We've had some people, we've actually had a couple people on the podcast that do that. We've had Bill. We've had Melissa. But Bill does many things. He doesn't do a podcast. I understand. But that, I mean, he does do his own thing. Right. Besides, well, he has it, a following. And it's it, worth something. Yes. And maybe I should talk to him more about that. Which, which we, we are will. going to yeah. have him back on the podcast. That's going uh, to be a great. celebrate my birthday. That's going to so. be a great episode. That'll be coming in February. Uh, February 6th. Definitely suggest that you guys go back and listen to the podcast with Bill Soroka. We had a blast with him. Yes. And I'm sure we're going to have a blast with him again yes. in the future. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, you know, either way, whatever your goals are for 2021, just make sure that you, you know, your your end game, like, you know, your end game and that you're passionate and excited about whatever it is that that you're that you're doing, you know, and there's always going to be something that that gives always something that gives. And it's like you can't have this perfect, I don't know, balance because there's no such thing as a perfect balance. <laughs> You know, like, look, business is doing great, but I gained down 15 pounds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's things. He says something's got to give. <laughs> and it was my <laughs> and weight. And it was our weight. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, but I, I just, I don't know. There's always, like, you have to know what it is that you're going for and know that some things are going to have to, I don't know. Hey, so what about the weight? What are we going to do? Are we getting back on it? Well, I, for one thing, for me, it's not so much my body image. Like, cause I feel so yeah. good. Like I feel we're at a great place in our life. Like we, you know what I'm saying? Like even though 2021 or 2020 was shitty, like we did very well. And we were talking about that, like yeah. how blessed we, we are, you know, we didn't. Yeah. So anyways, um, for me, it's about feeling healthy I, and, and I don't feel healthy right now. We try. We do. We <laughs> <laughs> we buy the stuff that we're supposed to eat. We just don't eat it. <laughs> and then it, then it turns to jelly in the fridge. See, like and, we <laughs> we have good intentions, right? Yeah, yeah. We freaking go. We buy the broccoli. We buy all, buy all the fucking. And then we you know who eats the kale? The fucking tortoise <laughs> the eats the tortoise kale. Eats the kale. <laughs> we don't because we don't. But see, this is the thing that I know that you and I, when we set our mind to something, we do it. I mean, yeah. You know, but like I told you before, I've always gone to the gym like I've never I haven't let myself go like this the last time I weighed this much was when I was pregnant with Audrey because yeah. even after Joey I got in the gym I lost it like I've always done good with keeping the weight off like this is the first time where I just let it go like let it go yeah. no, <laughs> let it go but I uh, I just don't feel healthy so I'm, ex I'm I am excited about feeling healthy again yeah you know me too that I mean for me more than any, like, I just want to, I want to be more, better at jujitsu. You, it's more self-image. It's yeah, weird. For it, you, it, is, it is, but I also want to be better at jujitsu and I know that it'll help. You know, like if I can, if I have better cardio and I'm stronger, yeah. like it'll, it'll yeah. help. And, and grips too. Anyway, but, um, I don't know if any of you guys out there caught the end of episode 99. It was a little bit different than all the other episodes. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> But uh, if you guys haven't, uh, go back. You can listen to it and you can watch it uh, on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, but if you go back and listen to the very end of episode 99 after the outro music, uh, you'll see something special. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. but It's, it's just, cool, though. You'll get before. after we were recording after the episode had ended and we shared something. Yeah. And so it was so spontaneous. Um, but we you left know, it in. You can't make that up. Yeah, we just left it in. <laughs> yeah, so. and, and Miguel left it in. It was pretty cool. You know, you have a good ear for that, yeah. for stuff like that. And you're very analytical and anal. So when it comes to the podcast, like he can, you can drive me nuts sometimes yeah. because you're so like wanting everything to be perfect. And when things don't go your way, you throw a little temper tantrum like our son, you know? Well, the but thing is, 
okay. I don't, I don't like making ex- like if we have something that we're gonna do. Yeah. Even if I don't have the best stuff to do it with, yeah. I want the best possible product to be put out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we don't have the best cameras. We may we we don't have the best microphones. Yet. The best anything. Yes. I, I mean we do have good microphones, but like whatever. Yeah. But I want to be able to put out the best possible quality with what we have. Right. You know, yeah, and yeah. if it's if it's short, then I'm not happy. Yeah. You know, because it is a representation yeah. of us. And that's good. See, and I think with me, because I was talking to you about how I miss doing Facebook Lives. Yeah. And I think I've gotten away from that because I always talk about my stuff on the podcast. Maybe. (laughs) You know? Yeah. But if I get back into the Facebook Lives because I enjoy it, I love it, and I feel that I'm in control because I have the phone. Do you, You know what I'm saying? Like, I have the phone. Yeah. I can you know choose a scenery like it's all me yeah you got it yeah it, that, though, it's literally in your hand yeah it's in my hand and so maybe i have a control issue you know <laughs> feeling that i have to be in control all the time um but with facebook lives like i want to get back to doing that because i got a lot of feedback good feedback from that and i've gotten away from that and just being able to maybe talk to the audience and say hey this is just a little clip of what is going to be talked about on our next episode. Oh, like a little teaser or something? Yeah, a little yeah. teaser because you, you asked me what now I Sonya see this wants year. wants to start teasing you guys. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> <laughs> God. You know, and also just um, I'm excited about, and this is something that we need to talk about, like doing the merchandise because I think the that, merchandise that would will be, be really soon. good. I that, think that we would do really good with that, you yeah. know? Like that, that, that'll, be, that'll be coming soon. You know what? Fuck it. Like right now. Three months. By three months in to this three year. Three months? Yeah. Three months. By the end of March, I want to have the store up. What? That's in three months. Well, we got three months. We can do it. See what he does? He just throws me in that shit. No. <laughs> hey, you know, the thing is, sometimes you got to fucking do that. I was by the end of this year. <laughs> he said three months. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! What the f-? like? We have nothing else you see, to do. That, that's you playing safe. <laughs> that's you playing safe. The you kids, know what? We can get it done the by the end of the year. Kids are gonna start with baseball oh, and basketball and nope. jujitsu. We're gonna be have to get gym time in though. And now we're gonna be start a store in three months. Well, there you go, everybody. <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like I, I've mentioned it on here before. Like when you have three months, doesn't that's that seems a little uncomfortable, yeah. right? No, yeah, that Good. seems uncomfortable. Good. Then. Fucking three months it is. What the hell? Because a year is like, all right, we can get it done in a year. Yes. Yeah. Well, no. But with everything well, no. else that we're going to do, you act like that's our only focus, the only thing that we're going to do. Can we do it? Yeah. With that, all right, we're, then. But we're, it's going to happen with us fucking but, but, choking but, each other but, out. But. <laughs> we'll get it. You know? Anyway. So that's we'll figure it out. Tonight or sometime today. This weekend. I want us yeah. to get with the kids. And I... See, it's so funny because I try to be a good mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, I try to be that mom. Like, I want us all to sit down and go over this year with the kids, you know, and self-reflect. Yeah. And let's talk about 2021. What are their goals for 2021? What are our goals so that we can hold each other accountable and so that we can include the kids with, with what our goals are so that they can understand when we're working late, when we're getting up super yeah. early, them may not, you know, um, that is time, important sacrificing sharing. time with them because we have these goals. And I feel that if we bring it all together in the, as a family and we get the kids behind it and say, listen, I know this year it's going to be tough because th- this is what, you know, we have put out for this year. But know that by next year, we're all going to Disneyland. Yeah. Or something like that. You know, because if they see us not doing something, they're going to be like, Mom, you better get your butt out there, Mom. Yeah. Because we want to go to Disneyland. How many signings you got today, Mom? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What are you We're doing, still going Dad? to Disneyland, Mom? <laughs> oh, you know what? They're going to have to contribute. They, they better get on that little cart and start selling some shit. Oh, yeah. So, and that, <laughs> and okay. So, was that your idea or did they agree to it? No, it was my idea. Okay. So, you're going to have to sell them on your idea. Because yeah, they they'll be fine. But do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to share with everybody what? 
Well, I, I shared it on the podcast, I think, the Christmas episode. Right. Uh, or the last episode we were talking about so what we got for Christmas. So as entrepreneurs, and Miguel and I always, sorry, baby. Yeah. No. We have always talked to the kids about. Making money. Making money, finances, interest, all of that. Like yeah. we try to get, you know, we try to inform them as much as possible to where they can understand. And yeah. so Miguel had an idea. Yeah. So I. I put on a, on my Amazon wish list. I put a uh, a cart that you can tow behind a bicycle. With it's a trailer, pretty okay. much. And uh, I was gonna have the kids make it like a little store where they can drive around the neighborhood and they can sell candy. They can sell some toys, uh, maybe ice cream if they can, you know, keep it cold or whatever in the summertime. Mm-hmm. Um, but just a way for them to get out there and hustle, and make some money. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, so they have this car. And so, um, but I feel because it was your idea and not one of their ideas, just selling them on it. Yeah. I don't I don't think they'll have a problem. I mean, they've been, they've done all kinds. I mean, they've sold lemonade. They've sold cookies. They've sold the LED helicopters. They, they've, they've, they've already, hustled. they've already done a bunch <laughs> yeah, of stuff. That's true. So yeah, they, I think, they've hustled. I think they'll be fine with it. Yeah. Because anytime, and this is the thing, every time our kids have asked us for something we want them, we don't want them to feel entitled. We want them to know what hard work is and what it can lead to. So a few, and this is just an example, a few Halloween, uh, I don't know, it's been a few, right? Well, yeah, like two, ago, two, yeah, two years ago. The kids wanted a costume, new costumes. And I'm like, hey, you guys have a like crap load of costumes, costumes each in the closet. So if you guys want costumes, you need to make that money. And they had an idea and that was selling cookies. This was right before COVID. Or no, no, this was before. Yeah, this was before. Anyways, yeah, this so was way before. So they ended up making $90 in two hours, but they had to go out there and ask, right, yeah. for the that, sell. Yep, yeah, that was the same same thing, you know, selling and getting no's. And yeah, they, they eventually figured it out. They're like, all right, let's go find the houses that are going to buy. Right. Yeah. And yeah. another thing that um, those of you that have children that are wanting to teach, you have to lead. Right. You have to lead. They have to see the struggle. They have to see the challenges, but they also have to see the wins. So that's something that we need to talk to them about when we're going over 2020 and then into 2021. Yeah. You know, is showing them the end result for both. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. wait, we lost. <laughs> we were supposed to be in shape by now. Oh yeah. So those of you that've been watching us, you got you're probably like you guys talk a lot of you shit. You know, you know one thing. One thing that that is for sure for this 2021 is health. Like no, no, no. It's the 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 excuse of change. Mm. It's like, well, you know what? I'm not really going to get into it yet because we don't know what's going to happen. Everything's going to be up in the air. Like, well, if I start going to the gym, they're going to shut them down again anyway. So or you know, if I start this and then we're all working from home again or, you know, like it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to plan for what's happening right now. Right. And what may happen in the future. And if it doesn't happen, we keep going. But not just like I'm going to wait and see what happens. Right. No. Like make a plan, get right. busy. And if that changes, then you change the plan. Right. Yeah. And, you know, the whole losing weight thing it can't be just about the image though it can't be because i want to look good it has to be deeper than that it has to be us looking towards the future and us wanting to be healthy for our children and for our children's children right like we don't want to have all this money (laughs) you know and then be sick not being able to have fun or travel you know and eating sugar and carbs and all that shit it causes a lot it causes a lot of damage to the body, mentally, physically, emotionally, all of it. And not well, only that, but, yeah. you know, I feel like you can feel the addiction, can't you? Like when it, it was sugar. Yeah. Like it's like it's hard to quit. So I know that, you know, when we start to get on Monday on our health kick <laughs> that we're going to go through some shit. Like we're going to go through that keto flu. Yeah. You well, you guys, you guys will see it on our social media and all that yeah. yeah we're we just got to do it yeah we're, and we that's gotta get back into it if you've listened to us you know that that's a challenge of ours right yes. like that's our relationship is good our communication is good like our home is good but our weight is bad <laughs> that's <laughs> the heart of the food is yes, the hardest. and and it's for both of us which makes it even yeah. worse you know what i'm saying because if you stayed on this kick 
Yep. I would probably get off of it for two weeks, three weeks, but then look at you and be like, motherfucker, I need to get back no, on this No, we got to get on it at the same know? time and stick on it and stay on it. Yeah. Which we will. We'll start. Yeah, yeah. we're going to get on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. 2021 and, is going to be exciting. I'm excited for 2021, too. You know, with yeah. the whole, you know, with just everything that, holy shit. Like, listen, guys, it can only get better. <laughs> like, shit. You know? Like, could, it can only get better. Yeah. Definitely. You know, so let go of 2020 and look forward to 2021. That's right. And make sure you guys go to oppositesattractpodcast.com. You guys can listen to the podcast there. You can watch it there. You can see all of our social media. You can follow us there. Mm -hmm. That's a great page that you can share with people that you know because they can do all the same things there. Uh, and if you go to the website or if you're on your, on your phone and you click the menu button, you'll see a tab that says support the show. If you click on that, that'll take you to our Amazon link. And anything that you purchase through Amazon doesn't cost you anything extra, but we do get a little kickback and it helps out the show. So if you guys do it, uh, buy your stuff through our Amazon link, we definitely appreciate it. And you'll also see a link to Trust Inc. And Trust Inc. is? We are a nationwide mobile notary agency. We do a lot of work for title companies and law firms as well when it comes to estate planning. If you are looking uh, to purchase a house, refinance, or any of that good stuff, you can request Trust Inc. to be your mobile notary. Yep. And if you guys want to go to Trust Inc. directly, you can go to TrustINKUSA.com. Like I mentioned before, we're also affiliates with Libsyn, which is who hosts our podcast. If you guys wanted to start a podcast, use promo code OAP so that you can get a free trial of hosting the podcast through Libsyn. And uh, yeah, if you're passionate about anything and you want to put it out there and talk about it, use promo code OAP on Libsyn to get your free trial. And this is, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. You like it? Yeah, man. If we could turn this, this camera beautiful. around, you guys are missing the yes. sunset because that shit looks <laughs> bad ass. So pretty. Right? I'm looking and I'm like, man, you guys this are sitting is here looking at us and we're amazing. fucking checking out the sunset over here. <laughs> could you? What's the this, view back there? Hey, it's beautiful. Holy but, crap, you know, nice. if, if we could do this for a living and just travel when we do this for a living, these just beautiful even in arizona like why step out when we haven't even yeah, visited you know all of arizona and we will and we'll show it to you guys as we do it yes yeah. you know it would it would be pretty cool just to be able to do this for for a living yeah you know yeah. it's just getting me to believe <laughs> that we can do this yeah. for a living you know so there's a there's a couple things that i saw in the news uh and i told you about it one of them was uh the faa is starting to approve drones mm. flying over people at night i don't know how i feel about that one now they're saying that the drones will not have machine guns they will not be government military drone no i'm just kidding it's more for like deliveries <laughs> like, and wait, shit what? yeah they're going to be fucking spy <laughs> so now now it, it really what it's for is for like amazon and delivering packages at night so so that's what they say so now no. <laughs> with uh jeff bezos and and the you remember the ring now you're yes. gonna have a freaking oh. amazon drone inside your house and then you're gonna have them outside the house fucking flying over and what alexa the that's recording everything <laughs> now amazon's gonna oh see God. everything inside and outside we're, hey we were just we, we're scaring them yeah <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's something that, that's going to start happening. Another thing was uh, I told you about that there may be – there have been some talks about, like, a COVID passport. Oh. You know, so there's a, there's a company uh, that the Common Trust Network has created an app. Mm. And what the app is going to do – oh, look, the sun's going down. You yes, and it's that. getting cold, and I'm yeah. wearing it a sweater. It got fucking cold quick. Yeah, it did. <laughs> And I took I'm my sweater. Shivering. Took my sweater off. You guys are gonna uh -uh. see my freaking nipples rip through my shirt here in a second. <laughs> it got super cold as soon Holy as that shit. sun went down. Because we're sitting in front of a beautiful, beautiful sunset, beautiful yes, mountain. Mountains, yes, and it, yep, and the sun's just sneaking slowly behind that mountain. But anyway, so <laughs> the the Common Squirrel. Trust Network, yeah, they they created this app, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna link to your medical records, and. They're not going to store any of your medical data, but all it all it's going to do is it's going to give like a little code that people can they can scan it and it'll give them pretty much like the information. Like if you've been tested, you're positive, negative, yeah. if you've had your vaccine mm -hmm. and um, they're doing that in some airports, like they're working with like major airlines and major healthcare systems mm -hmm. to do this stuff. And uh, they're actually like Ticketmaster has been looking at 
like maybe implementing this stuff for their shows. Like for people to have to sign in with a freaking COVID passport before you go to a concert. So what does that mean? Does that mean if you don't have a COVID passport that you are not allowed in? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, see, I don't think that's cool because that's them forcing us to to get the uh, vaccine. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which is not cool. So th- this isn't a thing yet, but this is something that, you know, they've been talking about. Yeah, So yeah. it's freaking crazy. Ooh, it's getting windy. Hell yeah, it is. And uh, talking about all this COVID stuff, there was a guy that went from, or he was flying from Orlando uh-huh. to L.A. And he had COVID symptoms and he ended up freaking dying on the plane or not on the plane, but he started getting complications. He went into cardiac arrest on the plane. Wow. And somebody had to go and help him and they were giving him CPR. And the mm-hmm. guy that was giving him CPR ended up with COVID symptoms <sighs> as well. He ended up turning out to be positive and the guy ended up passing away. Wow. So he was on the plane with symptoms knowing Okay. And got on the plane anyway. So that's, you know, kind of like this whole COVID passport thing. Mm. You know, who knows what the hell is going to yeah. happen. Yeah. So, yeah. We can't end the podcast on that. <laughs> so the other day we were hanging out at home, right? And uh, holy crap, it got cold. Yes. Uh, so we're hanging out at home and we were we were getting something to drink. And we got, I, I saw this ginger ale at oh. the store. It was like this bold. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking bold Canada dry ginger ale or whatever. And uh, you haven't really had ginger ale before. No. Right? Nope. And nope. I, I crack open a can and I give it to you and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. And you're like, how have I never had ginger ale before? Yes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was like, that's because you're not allowed to have ginger ale until you get old. And you started cracking up because you were saying, what, what was it? Because I had a signing not that long ago and the... the Nah, she was probably in her 80s and she asked me would you like a ginger ale <laughs> so i looked at you and as soon as you said that i said no i'm like we are not there yet no we are not there because i'm thinking okay 80s we are damn 40 <laughs> no, ginger ale you know? is like an old people drink that's what i that's what i was thinking and you're so when good. i said it to you you're sitting there picturing like this little old lady yes, with her little knitted yes, sweater yes. with her glasses on and i'm like a little- that is not us no i refuse <laughs> freaking crazy <laughs> yeah but yeah that's funny good times good times yeah ya está ya está yeah ready to go <laughs> you ready to you ready to wrap it up oh, at like, 47 minutes dude, in <laughs> it's freaking cold <laughs> no <laughs> holy shit so our babies are no longer babies oh, you know yeah like kids they grow up so fast. And I remember hearing that, you know, when I was a kid, yeah. but I never got it. Like I never got it until we got our own kids. Well, I can tell you 2021 was the year that Audrey blew up. Yes. Like she just, she hit this growth 11 spurt. years old is when the change happens. And there is, there is no going back. Like I look at her now, like every once in a while she'll be walking by and it's just like surprising still, you know, like she's at my fucking like shoulder height. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> who is looking. this other little person walking around the house here? Like she's not a little kid. Oh, no, she is looking more like a lady, like a young lady. And the way and, you know, not to pat herself on the back, but <laughs> we've done pretty good. Like she's a good girl, you know, yeah. like she's loving and she's passionate and she cares for other people. She's kind. She's strong. Yeah. You know, and we've done good. Because there's times where you doubt how you're parenting. Yeah. You know what I've gotten recently mm. from different people and for both the kids is their manners. Mm. Like, I've yes. had, I've had yeah. people tell Our me. Our teachers always, their teachers always compliment them on their manners. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, recently I've had a couple people. They're like, your kids have very good manners. And I'm like, thank you. Right. You know, and they're, and they're always like, please and thank you. Yes. And all that. And, um, you that, know, with the kids, cool. it's teaching them, like, love starts in the home. Kindness starts in the home. Right? Yeah. Leadership starts yeah. in the home. All of that starts in the home. And I'm excited to hear their conversations when they're older. Yeah. Like talking about us, our parenting, you know, um, 
because I feel that it's going to be good. <laughs> They're going to be like, they were fucked up. They were making us sell shit all the time. <laughs> Fucking slinging lemonade and cookies in the neighborhood and shit. I don't don't think they're going to say that, though. No. You know what? When they're successful, when they have their own businesses, like, that that's the thing is when you have these, like, super rich families, Mm -hmm. and a lot of times, we just don't know better. Yeah. Because we come from, you know, a family or, like, where you have a job and that's all, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, you go to work, you get a job, you get benefits, you retire. and Right. You know, that's it. But there's there's other people that, you know, their mentality is comp- like job is not a mentality of theirs. They're not. Right. They, they, no. There is no way like yeah. that doesn't even cross their mind. Right. Which is kind of like we have that inside of us. Right. Yeah. And like we're I trying- haven't had a job since that is- 2008. Excuse the motorcycle. You know, <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, yeah, totally. You know, Adriana, <laughs> that little girl yesterday but what i'm what i was saying about the kids is that i'm hoping that as they get older Mm -hmm. like for us job 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 like it's still a thing yes even for you that you haven't had a job for i don't know how long like a job is still like security like that's what most that's what people People, do yeah right but for for me it's jail (laughs) (laughs) uh -uh. it's for me i'm saying sorry as a person what do you mean i i don't being in one place doing the same thing oh, okay. yeah. every day. It's like being in jail. That is not who I am. That's not me. That's not who I am. I am a social butterfly. Let me be. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You just made everybody, all, all the rest of us that have jobs out there feel great. <laughs> but no, but baby, jobs kidding. are for some people. I just know. <laughs> you should have been like, jobs are for suckers. <laughs> for, I just know that a job is not for me. No. Yeah. You know? And no, yeah. It, it, everybody's different yeah you know and i i just hope that for the kids it's a little bit of an easier or more of an process option. yeah you know it's like you know what i don't know they if i want to get a job i want right. to do this right i'm gonna do my own thing right or i'll have a job and do that right and um but you yeah. were saying the kids yeah so i just I, I i just said because i know that we're doing a good with kids like you know yeah parenting not perfect we're doing good we're doing all right <laughs> But Audrey, yesterday, remember, I was asking for her opinion on the pearl earrings that you got me. Yeah. And the sweater. Like, you know, and she's like, Mom, why are you asking me? She's like, do you Uh, like it? I said, yes. She said, then that's That's all all that that matters. That's all that matters. I'm like, oh. Yeah. (laughs) You know? Yep. And I was like, that's fucking good. That's good. (laughs) Because she don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? No, like she if doesn't. she is wearing something, you know, she never asks me, Mom, how does this look? She throws, because it she doesn't throws it matter. On. It yeah. doesn't matter. She's like, however I feel, that's how I feel. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks or says. And I love, love that about her. Yeah. That's cool. You know? Just knowing who she is and what she stands for. Yep. You know, and Joey don't give a shit either. No, he, Joey will put his, one black shoe and one blue shoe on, and who gives a shit? No, his friends will come over. He stays in his onesie. He doesn't give a shit. He, like, he loves wearing that, you know, his pajamas. He'll, his friends will come over. He'll change out of his clothes into his onesie and be like, all right, let's play. Yeah. He doesn't care. And, you know, with us, it's not just about our kids, right? It's about all the kids. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? That know us, being yeah. able to lead. You know, my little nephew that comes over often right because him and joey are very very close and it's so cute because my sister a couple days ago told me do you hear me shivering are you (laughs) told me she's like hey she's like i just want to thank you for being a good role model for adan she said and she said because he uh we were having dinner the other day and he he told me he's like hey mom he's like i would like to for us to always have dinner together and for us to say grace as a family every day. Yeah. Well, you know what? And and for those of you out there that are listening, I think that's a that's a simple, that's an easy goal for 2021. And if it's I mean important. we don't we don't do it every single time or every single day. Um, but we do more often than not. I mean, I think we're yep. we're sitting at the table together as a, as a family eating. Yep. And and a lot of times it's me and you talking or, and the kids will jump in or whatever, yep. but it's just, 
I think it's important it's just to kind of get together. Time. Yeah, There's something about eating together and talking and just kind of going over stuff when yeah. you're sitting there. Yeah, it's the, it, that, that's the quality time that you spend with your family. I think that's important. Right. And not only that, but ha- playing board games. I yeah. think that's important as well. But what I was what I was going to say is that for those of you listening is maybe make a, a goal of at least twice a week. Yeah. You know, start out mm-hmm. with twice a week or at least three times a week or every Saturday we're going to wake up, have breakfast together as a family yes. and then we go do our thing. Yes, because some parents work graveyard. So yeah. that's not possible. Yeah. But what is possible is having breakfast together Saturdays, Sundays. Right. Like yep. make it count. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what it is, is showing the kids the effort, right? Like yeah. showing the kids the effort. You recently um, have been working with Joey on his multiplication. Yeah, he's been kicking ass. Yeah, but it was a challenge. Like it consumed so much of our energy because he would fight us so much. It's still a challenge. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but he's more, he's more open to it now. Like he's doing great. He's grasping it. and Well, it's because now he's getting some momentum where he's learning a couple, and now he's realizing that they're not that hard. Yeah. And that's uh, that's the other thing. Actually, that, that Jocko book, Mikey and the Dragons, mm-hmm. like one of the things that he talks about in the book is the book is about a little boy who his dad's the king. They live in this kingdom, and then there's the dragons that come over the mountains, mm-hmm. and the dad, the king, would always protect the kingdom from the dragons. And... The dad passes away and the kid has to protect the kingdom now. Now he becomes a king. And uh, one of the things that is in this book is a letter that the dad leaves his son. And one of the things that he says in the letter was that we always tend to make things bigger in our mind than they actually are. (laughs) Yes. You know, so when I first sat down with Joey and told him, like, we're going to work on the times tables, at first it was like, oh, uh, 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 right. it's it's a fucking fight yes. all the time but yes. then it took it took like a day and a half to get one timetable down right and once he got that one the next one took like half the day right and then after that he started getting them in a couple hours mm-hmm. and now he's starting to realize like if i just really focus and pay attention that's one thing i always have to tell him i'm like dude whining and complaining is not going to get you out of it right all it's going to do is make it worse, make you not want to do it even more. But are you going to have to do it? Yes. So what should we do? Just do it. I think all right, m- most adults. Go. Think let's about go. that. No, then that's. <laughs> we all go through that, not just as children. We go through that as adults. You know, hey, do you want to, you know, get up at four o'clock in the morning and run? No. Mm. <laughs> Let's get up and fucking do, <laughs> do it. Do you, do you want to eat this chicken salad or the burger? <laughs> No. <laughs> burger. <laughs> Pass me it's the salad. It's hard shit, man. It is. It's difficult. It's hard, even as grown-ups. So taking ourselves, and when we're talking to the kids, and we're going through these learning um, experience with the kids, we have to remember that it's not that easy because we get so upset and angry at them. I've uh, working with him. Oh my god! Like I'm just like, how much more can I take of this? <laughs> But it's like we have to realize that we do the same shit. Yeah. But the fight is in our heads. What do you think about telling the kids about stuff that we've messed up? No, I think that that's important. Well, uh, I'm saying because the other day, actually our last podcast, when I was at the house, I was watching something on the TV Uh of our podcast. And Mm -hmm. Audrey walked in and there was a part playing. I was, you know, watching it for uh-huh. obvi- editing and all that. Yeah. But uh, so Audrey walks in and she sees that I'm watching the podcast and she's listening for a second. And I'm talking about how I was a fuck up in school oh. and how I failed everything mm-hmm. and how my cousin helped me pass my classes and do all that. Right. But she was kind of like, oh, like. Here, here's this motherfucker telling me that I need to study <laughs> and do all this shit, and he fucking failed everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but what do you, what do you think about that? No, I think that that's good. I think that that's great. We, they need to know our challenges and our struggles. I think because it's good too. You have certificates. Yeah. From, from you attending college and acing classes. Yeah. So yeah, I was a screw up. I did mess up. But look, look. Now, and this is why it was harder for me. And share her, share and, with her. Yeah, and the thing is that if I could go back and do it over again, 
I would fucking tear school up. Right. And our because job, I know, you know, it's one of those things. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah. You know, and our our job is to teach and share. Yeah. You know? True. And show them. You know, we're not perfect. Because yeah. they see us at times as oh, I can never be like my daddy. I can I can never be like my mommy. Like it no <laughs> You know what's a good thing to tell kids? I don't know. What? I don't know. Like that's a good thing to tell kids. I don't know. About what? Let's find out. Whatever. Oh. Because there's like a lot when of times they're asking you a kids, question. Yeah, because kids yeah, look yeah. at us a lot of times and they're like, Well, like I've told Joey before, like, I don't know. And he kinda look he gives me that look, her? Like what? <laughs> yeah. You don't know? Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah, there's a lot of shit that I don't yeah. know. That's the same thing with apologizing to your children when you're wrong. Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm sorry. I was wrong. I've done that. I've learned to do that. And I remember my um goddaughter was at my house. And she or she was at our house and I was sitting down with Joey and Joey was giving me a hard time about something and I snapped at him and he said, mommy, he's like yelling at me is not going to help me. And I looked at him and I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. And my goddaughter came down after 20 minutes or so and we started talking and she's like, you know, Nina, she's like, that's really cool. I'm like, what? She's like, I I heard you and Joey, and I heard you apologize to Joey. She said, if that was me, I would have got smacked because yeah. that is considered talking back. Yeah. You know, I've had I've had that, too. You know, like afterwards when something happens and I'm like, damn, I fucked up. Yeah. You know, like, or I blew up and I shouldn't have, or I did this and I shouldn't have, or yeah. whatever. I don't know. But, um, no, and I'll go, t- I'll go to the kids, to Audrey or Joey, and be like, yeah, dad, dad messed up. See, I think I'm that's sorry. good. I'm sorry, and if something like this happens, just talk, just remind me right. because I I struggle with stuff. Right, right, yeah. So just remind me and tell me like, hey, dad, I thought you know. See, but that that's good. It's showing them. I mean, to always, I, I, I believe that's just humbling yourself. Yeah. You know, and the ego and pride and everything else, and showing them that we are real and we make mistakes too. Yeah. And showing them how to apologize, you know, yep. when we are wrong. That's right. You know. So, yeah. <laughs> didn't know we, you didn't know we were going to be talking about all of this, holy huh? Holy crap. So there is episode <laughs> episode 100. Thank yeah. you guys for being with us. I'm we, excited for you guys. I'm excited for your future, you yes. know, in 2021. Yep. So thank you guys for being with us. Make sure you guys go to oppositesattractpodcast.com. Share it with your friends. If you want to start a podcast, use promo code OAP to get your free trial. Uh, you know, we couldn't do this without you guys. I mean, we yes. definitely, episode 100, this is a huge, uh, you know, moment for us yes. and our podcast career. In the beginning, this is still the beginning of our podcast career. We definitely appreciate you guys being with us for, for all of it. Thank you for your love and your support. And don't forget to share. Share, share, share. And until next time, bye. bye.